So this is a 300 year old clock that's been converted into an awesome Lego brick built display. It's packed full of fun storytelling and a wide variety of motion and movement. Let's take a closer look, shall we? This is Time Punk Tower, one of the multiple displays that are a part of Relics A New World Rises. It's an exhibit that showcases a story about minifigures in the future who've created civilizations out of old, long forgotten artifacts much like this old clock. Basically what's going on here is these villainous time punk skeleton dudes have turned this clock into a time machine and are using it to collect and hoard treasures from across the ages. But of course, you mess with time, it tends to mess back, and various characters from across time are wreaking havoc throughout Time Punk Tower. Now fun vignettes and clever stories are what gives this mock so much life, right? So let's talk about all the different ways that this creation is effectively communicating a story and see if those storytelling techniques can help us with our own future builds. So storytelling is an important thing to pack into your LEGO creations. It invites you into the world of your mock and lets you better engage with what's in there. Plus stories are engaging and entertaining. Why wouldn't you want to focus on storytelling in your builds? I think one of the most obvious stories here is this time punk who's stealing dinosaur eggs from this big T-Rex. We can see the big portal frame, and inside it, there's this old prehistoric setting that the dinosaur lives in. So the first technique that's been used here to help convey the story is framing. Now framing is a technique that really draws your attention somewhere. I mean, think about it. We put frames around an artwork so that your eye stays within the frame and focuses on the art itself, not the stuff around it. So this simple circular frame subtly tells your mind where to look. And the fact that the landscape behind it is so bright, it contrasts up against the brown, that also makes this really obvious that this is a focal point. The time punk with the eggs and his wheelbarrow has a huge amount of green behind him whenever you look at them. And this again helps them stand out from the rest of the brown background, and you really get your attention drawn towards this dude. Plus there's natural lines on these rails and the walkway itself, and these form leading lines that direct your focus up to this dude and further back into the portal. So to recap, we have a frame to establish where you need to look, then we have contrasting colours to further direct your attention, and then we have multiple lines built into the structures that direct your attention up to the dinosaur and the time punk dude with the stolen eggs. All of these things make this story clear and easy to understand. So when you build your next creation, think about the specific ways that something as simple as a colour choice or the angles of certain pieces could be a way to make your simple and effective story even easier and more obvious to understand. Every single element you put into your mock in some way can help build a larger narrative. It's just as simple as knowing how to do that. And those are a few different ways that you could. Of course we can keep focusing on the storytelling that's used in this creation, but while we're here in this part of the clock, let's take a look at some of these awesome walls on the side here. Check out the bright pop of lavender and purple. Those stripes up against this big amount of brown, they just look so lovely. And also using some of these triangle pieces to form a funky pattern on the walls, that's really cool. I think this vibe feels so much like an old manor of some kind. It gives off this sense of age and history. And that's perfect for a time machine and even more appropriate since this is built inside of an old clock. It just seems fitting and it just looks so cool. Now there's a bunch of other smaller stories scattered throughout this creation. We've got lots of collectible minifigures being used to showcase various characters from across history. Now these collectible minifigures are always so well designed, so as soon as you see them you immediately think of the worlds that they would have inhabited, and then it conjures up stories of how the time punks might have travelled to that specific time period. So it's funny how something as simple as a good minifigure can also help with good narrative and good storytelling. It's nice and fun to examine all these little story vignettes, and it makes sense since this is on display at a museum that you kind of need multiple stories going on all throughout it. I mean thousands of people are going to be viewing it, sometimes at the same time. So you can't have everyone crowded around in one area looking at one specific thing. It's nice and it's fun to have people looking at all sorts of different parts so that they're entertained and so that it keeps them entertained as well. And honestly, this is something that you could do at a LEGO convention. If you're building something to specifically be displayed at a LEGO convention, you might want to consider doing something similar of having multiple different places that people can look. That way people are going to really appreciate all the nuanced work and unique techniques that you included because they're going to be looking at it in multiple different places, not just one specific focal point. So that's a few interesting notes about storytelling that are packed into this awesome creation. Hopefully it inspires you to tell your own stories in your own LEGO builds. Let's finish off by showcasing the moving functions of this time machine because it really is cool to see it all moving together like this. 
But actually, it's even cooler to see it in person. And now Relics and New World Rises is on display right now at the South Australia Museum in Adelaide, Australia. It's on until the 23rd of July, so if you're there, be sure to check it out. There'll be links in the description so that you can book your tickets and see it in person. Relics is put together by the team at Relics Exhibitions, which I am a part of, so if you can make it down, I promise that you're going to enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you very much enjoyed. Happy building, and bye for now.